Good day everyone! In this video, we will review prime factorization. It is important that you know prime factorization because you will be needing this in factoring polynomials. What is prime factorization? From the word itself, you probably know that it involves factoring. Factoring is finding what to multiply together to get an expression. But what does it mean by prime? Prime numbers are whole numbers greater than 1 that have only two factors. Those factors are 1 and the number itself. Take note that factors are numbers you multiply to get another number. Here are the list of prime numbers less than 20. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now let's get the factors of each prime numbers. Starting from 2, we have 1 and 2. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 5 are 1 and 5. The factors of 7 are 1 and 7. The factors of 11 are 1 and 11. The factors of 13 are 1 and 13. The factors of 17 are 1 and 17. The factors of 19 are 1 and 19. There are no other factors of prime numbers other than 1 and itself. And all other numbers that are not prime is called composite numbers because they are composed of primes. You can get them by multiplying prime and prime. So we define composite number as whole numbers that have more than two factors. Again, we have listed the prime numbers less than 20. Now, let's list down the composite numbers less than 20. We have 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 18. From the list of prime numbers and composite numbers less than 20, you might be wondering that 1 is not included. That is because 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. It is a special number. So the first composite number is 4. We can get 4 by multiplying the prime numbers 2 and 2. The second composite number is 6. We can multiply 2 and 3 to get 6. The next composite number is 8. We get 8 by multiplying 2 times 2 times 2. The next composite number is 9. We can obtain 9 by multiplying 3 times 3. We can keep going like this. And you would see that all composite numbers are made by multiplying different combinations of prime numbers together. And these combinations are called prime factorization. Therefore, prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. We have two methods of prime factorization. The factor 3 method and the division method. A factor 3 shows the prime factors of a composite number in a tree-like form. While division method, a composite number will be divided with several prime numbers starting from the smallest until it gets a prime number. Let's have the following examples. Example 1, find the prime factors of 36. Using the factor 3 method, 36 can be factored as 2 times 18. 2 is already a prime number. But 18 is still a composite number, so we can still factor 18 as 2 times 9. 2 is a prime number. 9 is a composite number, so we can factor 9 as 3 times 3. So 3 and 3 are both prime numbers. So therefore, we can bring down 2 and 2. So we can say that the prime factorization of 36 is... 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So as you can see, all the factors are prime.
But we have another way of factoring 36. We can factor 36 as 4 times 9. So since 4 and 9 are composite numbers, we can still factor 4 as 2 times 2. So 2 and 2 are prime numbers. Now we can still factor 9 as 3 times 3. So 3 and 3 are prime numbers. So therefore, we can have a prime factorization of 36 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 6. Either way, we still arrive at the same prime factorization. Now let's use the division method to find the prime factors of 36. We divide 36 by the smallest prime number which is 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 can be divided by the smallest prime number 2, so 18 divided by 2 is 9. The smallest prime number, which 9 is divisible by, is 3. So dividing 9 by 3, we have 3. So we have arrived at a prime number. So all the factors now are prime. So therefore, the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Any method we use, we will arrive at the same prime factorization. Example number 2. Find the prime factors of 100. Using the factor 3 method, 100 can be factored as 4 times 25. Both numbers are composite numbers, so we can factor 4 as 2 times 2. Now, these two numbers are prime numbers. 25 can be factored as 5 times 5. These two numbers are also both prime numbers. So all the factors now are prime numbers. Therefore, the prime factorization of 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So using the division method, we can divide 100 by the smallest prime number which is 2. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 can be divided by the smallest prime number 2, so 50 divided by 2 is 25. So 25 can be divided by a prime number 5, so 25 divided by 5 is 5. Again, they are all now prime numbers. So therefore, the prime factorization of 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. We have arrived at the same answer. Let's have example number 3. Find the prime factors of 147. Using the factor 3 method, we can factor 147 as 7 times 21. 7 is now a prime number. 21 is a composite number, so we can still factor that as 3 times 7. Both 3 and 7 are now prime numbers. So we can bring down 7. Therefore, the prime factors of 147 are 3 times 7 times 7. So you, had, you just have to arrange the numbers from least to greatest. Now, let's use the division method to find the factors of 147. So we divide 147 by 3 since it is not divisible by the smallest prime number 2. So that will be 147 divided by 3 is 49. Now we divide 49 by 7. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now they are all prime numbers. Therefore, the prime factors of 147 are 3 times 7 times 7. So again, we have arrived at the same answer. Example number 4. Find the prime factors of 252. Using the factor 3 method, 252 can be factored as 3 times 84. 3 is now a prime number. 84 can still be factored as 4 times 21. Both numbers are composite numbers, so they can be both factored out. So the factors of 4 are 2 times 2. So both numbers are now prime numbers. 21 can be factored as 3 times 7. Again, both numbers are now 
prime numbers. Four, we can bring down three. So we can say now that the prime factorization of 252 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And using the division method, we can divide 252 by the smallest prime number 2. So 252 divided by 2 is 126. And 126 can be divided by 2. So 126 divided by 2 is 63. 63 can be divided by 3. So 63 divided by 3 is 21. 21 can be divided by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now we have arrived at a prime number. So all the factors now are prime. So therefore, the prime factorization of 252 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. So again, we have arrived at the same answer. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you and God bless.